Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So today I will show you how to play with the modify binding operator to create results like this. This modifier is very powerful and you can have very interesting and different results, but it's a good way with this project to play with it. You can of course find my whole project with the type flow, lighting, material and under setup on my Patreon. Okay, now it's time for the tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so here's the shape I use for my project, but you can of course use the shape you want. If you want the same shape than me, you just have to create a cylinder, set the segment you want, convert to editable poly, and just delete the top and the bottom. It's really simple. Okay, so what we want to do is to activate the mesh gradually. So for this, we will therefore do it with the texture. I can just activate the depot shading, and here we can see the texture animation that I have previously created. Basically, our class simulation will be activated by the white part of the texture and the black part will remain fixed. We can therefore see here gradually the animation that will generate afterwards. Okay, so I will go to the material editor to show you the wall texture. Here simply a standard material with a composite and two gradient map. I just deselect all the gradient and I will explain you another process. I have here a gradient map in my layer 1 with an interpolation mode to solid. And then I animated this gradient from black to white with two keyframes to create this color transition. To make your life easier, you can reduce the tilling to 0.9. It will be much easier to create a perfect black or white. Here you see the difference. Perfect. And for the second layer, just another simple gradient from black to white. I just played with the W angle to create the right rotation for my effect. Now I can just link the two layers to the composite map. And of course, don't forget to set the layer 2 on multiply mode. Okay, great. A perfect gradient map animation to activate later or close simulation. Okay, so it's over for this part. We will now see how to create a complete animation. I just switch to the clay mode to see better my cylinder. And now I'm going to create a type flow setup. Open editor. I add the cylinder and I will now create a brass object. And pick my cylinder. I can now convert this object into a close with a close bind operator. And I can now add a force and set a really low value for my strength, maybe minus 0.01. We can see here that the force affects the entire mesh. So to fix that, it's simple. I just created a simple torus on the top of my mesh, and it's this object that will be attached to my cloth. I can now just create a surface taste, select volume inside, and pick the torus. I will now create an object bang in a new event and link this event to the surface test. I can now in object bind pick my torus and we see that it works. I will just up a little my gravity and we see here a problem. We have a little stretch here but it's really easy to fix that. I will just add a particle switch. And now it's perfect. But if I want to have the subdivision of my mesh with maybe a turbo smooth, we can see that it creates a big deformation of our mesh. We can then simply go to the tie flow setting and reduce the time step. We can of course increase the particle bind solver, but uh, we can also simply reduce the value of the force. 0.01 as before. This was just to show you how to handle this if you have a very subdivide mesh, but for this tutorial I will go back to the starting values. Okay, perfect. Now what we want is to activate our clause with the texture we created. So for this we will add uh, another surface test. Set the type to texture. We will of course use the texture applied 
on the cylinder as you can see here so I go back in the surface test and I pick the cylinder and to finish I open my material editor and I will drag and drop the texture in the map slot of course in instance if you want to apply change later and I set RGB greater ok so now to check that everything is working I will now create a simple force and link this force to the surface test we can see here with the display that it seems to work I will now just set a really high value for my gravity maybe minus 3 and I think it's good I just hide the display now and now let's see the full animation yeah perfect we can see that the force is applied gradually according to the gradient map animation yes it's really cool ok now what we want is to create the final effect on our clause so I'm going to add the modify binding operator which will allow us to modify the parameter of our clause and you can see in properties that we have a lot of parameters to play with like length, stiffness for us it will be length and for the operation we will select add to be in addition of the close bind initial parameters we can activate bend and maybe up the value like 5 and start to create an interesting look it's basically a start towards the effect we want to create and if for example we go in cylinder and we increase the resolution with the turbo smooth we can see that it really affects the length of the effect created but here we see that the gravity is maybe too strong so um, minus 1.5 will be better I think yeah like this so we have our effect which is starting to take shape but the rendering is not very pretty to see so I'm going to show you how to improve it well I will start to add a tie relax modifier on my tie flow amount 0.50 and iteration to 10 ok good but to preserve the side of my clothes I will just select relax vertice on closed edge ok good it start to look pretty good with the tie relax modifier a really smooth clothes now I can now add the shell modifier outer to zero and a very low value for the inner amount you can see here the difference with or without the shell ok it's still a good animation what I also like to do to improve my simulation and reduce the speed is to play with the time scale so I will reduce the value a little bit maybe 0.7 ok it looks really good like that you can of course go back to the modify binding operator and change the settings add a stretch if you want or maybe reduce the bend like this as you can see we have a really different simulation it's very interesting I think a value of 4 is perfect for the effect I want to create ok it's really good like this now what I want for my class is a more natural life over time and not this bended look so you can of course use a time test to do it but I will take advantage of wanting to create a collision with the ground to do it so I'm going to create a plane scale it and I will place it below my simulation I will now create a collision operator in this event and pick my plane I can hide the original plane and if I launch a simulation we can see that all class simulation collide with the plane we can now create another modify binding operator and for the operation we will select this time set and for the bend we will decrease the value to zero I cannot just link the collision operator to this event and we see in live the change ok so basically when the clause will collide with the plane his bend will go from a value of 4 to 0 and it will have a more realistic rendering I will now just add a little turbo smooth 
it will help to give a better look to the final clause. And once all our parameters seem good to us, we will be able to go back to close bind and enable CUDA Collision Solver. And self collision to have a clean clause. I can now launch a simulation. I will also switch to clay mode to see better the mesh and the wireframe. And we see that we have a really good simulation with a smooth look for our clause. And finally, if you want a result close to mine with a longer tissue, all you have to do is go back to your original cylinder and create the subdivision. You can also play on the strength, of course. You can change the modify binding parameter to create the look you want. It's really up to you to try by yourself. Okay guys, it's over for this tutorial. I hope you've learned a lot of things. Don't forget the thumb up and to subscribe if you like my work. And you can of course follow me on Instagram or support me on Patreon if you want the project file. See you soon for next tutorial guys. Bye.